November. Pterodactyl on the bird feeder, very keen on the fat balls. Marsh tit calling from the trees, meadow pipit ditto. Great tit in Mr. Riley's garden, apple tree in second bloom. Pied wagtails, chaffinches and meadow pipits. Robins sing on all sides. Mallards and widgeons reported. Jack Snipe flushed by Mr. Dandison's dog in the fields. A lone Archaeopteryx roosting on the civic roof. December. Single phoenix egg in a striking miner's brazier. Meadow pipits near my house. Kingfishers and bramblings. The latter called also mountain finches. A flock of seven wild geese flying southwest. A flock of goldfinches and two magpies. Nine wild geese. Blue tits and chaffinches noted. A flock of griffins circling the interchange. Mr. T. Knowles called my attention to a kestrel hovering over Regent Street and the post office. Rarely seen in the town, severe weather had driven it from the haunts of man. My thermometer registered 20 degrees of frost. Lyrebirds, blackbirds, toucans and jackdaws observed in search of food in the fields and gardens. The clamorous core core mingled with the rook's more familiar cry, resounded from the treetops and from flight overhead. Six golden plovers, one winged and picked up the next day, kept it alive a few days, along with a landrail caught in hay time. My gratitude to several keen-eyed birders who spotted an Indian rock with a full-sized elephant in its claws and a pair of dodos outside age concern. Field fairs, twite or mountain linnet, long-tailed tit, great tit and doors noted. Blackbirds or stormcocks or missile thrush feeding on the hollyberries. A heron standing in a field. <laughs>